Hello everyone. What can each person do for creative society already today? Without internet, in Burmese language, on television. About this, Alatra News Live. Meet me in the studio right now. Unlike major TV channels, which strive to impose a certain value on people, local mass media direct their views to what they really care about. Therefore, it is not surprising that the topic of the creative society began to be raised on the city channels. And this once again proves that the demand for positive changes has matured in society. Alatra TV reporters from Volgograd visited the talk show to tell you the truth in the Volgograd One channel. Let's watch the video on this topic. In one of our programs, we discussed a society of happy people and we talked about the creative society and this topic has affected many citizens. We have received a lot of comments under this video and indeed, people want to live in such a society. Today we have volunteers from Alatra TV Media Project in our studio. Hello. And uh, they support the idea of the Creative Society. Please tell us about your project. So, this project is aimed at changing the format that exists in the society, and it is an open secret that this format is the consumer-like. So, we would like for the format of the society to be changed towards the creative format. In other words, the society which we are discussing, it means that this society will have every person taking care about the benefit of society and all of the society will be taking care of uh, the benefit of each person. How do you convey information to people? First of all, we ask people questions and do it in different ways, so to speak. We, uh, for example, conduct opinion polls. So this is an international social survey. That is, people are asked the same questions in different languages in more than 180 countries. So, uh, um, what kind of questions do you ask? Well, in what kind of society would people like to live? What kind of society they think is most comfortable and right for them and their children? What value? is prevailable in the society and how do you think what each of them can do their place in order to ensure that this society will build will be built soon and how do people react to your question um, what do the people answer people support this initiative with great enthusiasm our goal is in this creative society project is to inform people about the ideas of the creative society and whether people want to live in it the goal of the creative society project is not to change the world from our point of view right but to ask people how they see this kind of society what kind of society they would like to live in and then all together we can come to this point so that uh, this single goal can be identified and we can move towards it a creative society the value of life right it's about human freedom freedom of choice and security. Once these principles are accepted by a person, then he begins to change himself in practice. I would like to say that uh, that's why uh, the participants of Latter International Public Movement so active today. They conduct these live broadcasts. Um, they uh, lead constant dialogues, constant interviews, because no, you need to invest a person's attention in the positive, into positivity, and then it would we'll, we'll work together. In the future. So it is important that everyone would start from themselves, right? Absolutely. He will begin to change himself and accordingly the world around him will begin to change. Today, the participants of this program is on a live broadcast. Hello, guys. Hello. Could you please share with views your experience of participation? Uh, hello, everyone, once again. So, in our case, we participated in this talk show with volunteers from different organizations of our city. And at that meeting, we discussed the main problems of the consumer society, and we touched upon the need to switch to the creative format. This program was a great uh, success among the audience, and after the 
restrictions on the lockdown had been lifted in our city, the talk show host invited us to tell us more about the Creative Society project. And um, I was especially happy that our second meeting in the studio was made possible thanks to the lively response of people. Th uh, so the people both from our city and people in mass media, in social media. As for me, I would like to say that it's great honor for me to represent the Creative Society project and be part of a large international team. And I would like to thank everyone who participates in this project because thanks to our social service interviews and live broadcasts, I personal, uh, me personal, and many other people see that the idea of the Creative Society is really close to everyone, and the, it really ins inspires. And there are many positive examples um, that uh, help to build Creative Society already today. And as for participating in the talk show, to tell you the truth, it was really great joy for me to share this idea with people. During uh, this broadcast, um, there was a feeling of joy as, uh, as if from communicating with your close friends, right? It's really great. Uh, greetings, friends, and I'd like to, to tell you that actually participating in the program on a regional channel helps uh, you to be more confident. And we have such an opportunity um, to spread the idea of the Creative Society. And what is really joyful is that we um, get positive response from people uh, and they are willing to interact. People really choose the Creative Society. Thank you very much and giving the floor back to the studio. Lots of thanks for such positive news. When a person seeks to convey the truth, there are many opportunities for that. The main thing is to use them and believe in your strength. Many exciting, useful videos on various topics are broadcasted in Alatra TV channel every day. The participants of Alatra IPM create, explore and inspire and strive to bring contribute information to each person. In the near future there will be psychology discovering the truth. Hello, dear friends. I'm happy to tell you that today we're adding a new format of the project Psychology Discovering the Truth. How it is different? First of all, the episodes will be shorter. We will be focusing on certain situations or on some unresolved issue, which perhaps is troubling you. So please send us your questions in the comments below this video and let's uh, deal with them together. See you soon. This really interesting initiative, friends, each of us can take an active part in creating these videos today. And then we have Alessa in our studio. She will share a review of her favorite videos on Alatra TV. Hello, Alessa. Greetings, Valeria. Just to go on with the topic of psychology, I'd like to share my understanding after watching the video on Lutter TV under the control of consciousness. I realized that actually I used the same manipulation in the circle of my family and friends. I thought that I was showing care, advising others what to do, right? I gave advice what to eat, where to go, what to do. So such actual control actually breaks the relationships because everyone wants to be free and happy. What can I do right now? Actually, I can give love and form such a positive habit. And another interesting video interview with the coach and tennis champion Vlaska Mladeno was on Lateran TV. And his contemplations about how important it is to form the right habits for yourself are still resonating, you know, to see uh, the good in everything, uh, to make a choice in fair recreation and love. Um, because together we are stronger. And if not everything works out as you want, the main thing is to preserve love and happiness inside you. So, guys, let us watch and share what we liked in this video, what inspired you, and think about what a creative society should be like in the modern world. Please write a comment, they're very important. Now I'm giving the floor back to Valeria. Thank you, Alessia. It is so great that thanks to each of us, 
the idea of creative society spreading among the multi-million audience of our viewers. And thanks to Alatra TV platform, which joins our efforts. A guest of Alatra TV Middle East, Sunita Banjad, from Yanma was so inspired by the idea of the Creative Society that she offered to be a host in Burmese language and to talk about the Creative Society project in the people in their country who doesn't speak English. And the first broadcast has already took place, which was attended by young and socially active guests from Myanmar. The broadcast presented the foundations of the Creative Society Ideas how to build creative society were discussed. The idea of the creative society is flying around the world on the wings of inspiration. Hello, Sunita. Hello. Could you share your experience uh, in the project, please? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, hello, everybody. And I came across this Alatra, uh, this project uh, through this uh, one of this event, which I met Alatra volunteer. And then we came across and she shared about this project and I got interested. So I initiated this. I will be interested to be to take part. And then I got interviewed in Life Connect, Life uh, life connection and then we went on and I, I spoke to one of the volunteer and I invited her in my webinar series too so which gave me a lot of uh, insights and where I came to know about this purpose of uh, this creative society so I thought like I will I would love to work on this and then uh, we spoke about it and we kick off our first event on last week and that's how this future of Myanmar was on this creative society project where I am focusing mainly on underprivileged and people who don't get exposed to too much to talk about creative society. Thank you so much and now I, I would pass it on to the studio. Thank you so much Sonita. As we see, a person can be the creator of his own life. The constant actions of each person in the direction of the creative society will change our life and we will see the born of new society. More and more people are joining the initiative of building the creative society. For example, the story of a simple girl, Bibiana from Argentina, at first glance, this is an ordinary story, but there is a lot of love and care about people. Let's watch together this creative example. I want to share my idea about the Creative Society, how I started to implement it. I remember at first I saw information about the Creative Society, there was no article about the eight foundations yet, and I said to myself, I like it so much and it attracts me. It was like tuning into the radio. It's like you were on other frequencies before and you were saying, well, I don't like this. And then you were changing the frequency, and then, oh, yes, I like this music. Uh, this music that transforms you, transforms the heart. And this moment seems to give rise to hope. And you start to feel like I have to do something. And so the idea was born. One day I woke up and had the idea of the project, a thousand flowers. I would like to share this project, A Thousand Flowers, which is aimed at spreading the idea of the Creative Society. This project is created to share information with people on the street, and its motive might be smile for the flower. Here we see here today I brought sunflowers, right? Look how beautiful they are. Here's my layout. Uh, so here is my layout. Look how beautiful. Uh, it's small and very convenient to use. It's made of foam plastic. And here is a coating of decorative paper. And here is a postcard right, about the Creative Society, where there is all information about the platform of Latin International Public Movement. Yeah. 
and it's so great to share with people because people like it very much they're very interested in uh, existing information uh, with information about the greatest society that we have today, it always goes along with the flower. And after people always have the opportunity to visit the platform, they ask a lot of questions and are always interested. The idea is to share and tell what we do by talking to people on the street. And people are really very excited. I send greetings from Argentina to all my friends from Malatra International Public Movement and said, all a big heart and a big warm thank you so much my friend thank you let the rays of your goodness into the world share pure knowledge with others and many souls warmed by them and then from your little pure sparkle those sparkles will flare up and where there are two there will be the third one and when there will be a lot of such sparkles, the real flame will flare up. So one human may do a lot of useful and good things. Sensei for the primordial of Shamla, Anastasia Novak. Getting the knowledge from the books by Anastasia Novak and videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilov, people radically change their lives and take responsibility not only for themselves, but for the entire society. Every knowledgeable person understands, if not me, then who? And now let's watch one of the examples of spreading the idea of creative society as a person began to act in his workplace. Hello, my name is Maxim, and I'm a participant of Alatra International Public Movement. I was really inspired and awakened to act more by the video the creative society this program had a very clear understanding of uh, the model of the creative society and the steps to build it that actually it was impossible for me not to start acting and for that i would like to express my deep gratitude towards igor mihailovich for all the information and thank you for this example also, Igor Mikhailovich, we have repeatedly heard such questions that the idea of the Creative Society really inspires people and they say, but what exactly should I do? It's almost like what they should do physically. I don't know, for example, take a shower and dig. How to build it? I mean, there are such… How to build it? At this stage, right now, there should be an information wave. It is necessary to explain, communicate and talk to people. Any person can do it, regardless of the profession. It doesn't matter, if he trades in the market, he can put up a poster, I support a creative society. Will it attract attention? It will. He can provide a link to something, or, excuse me, give a business card or a brochure about the creative society. Will anyone find out about it? He will. The one who didn't know, right? But it unites all of us. The main thing that we must do now is to spread this information as much as possible, to spread it as actively as possible and to inform everyone so that all people hear and know that it is possible to live in a different way. And this example really motivated me. And here's what I did. So I placed the logo on the water distribution automation machines and thousands of people saw these devices and maybe someone else will be inspired by this project and they will learn more about this project. There is a link there. And even the name itself, the Creative Society, actually a lot of people support this. It is very important to act. It is very important to take the first steps and to stop listening to the consciousness, to doubts, to its constant uh, talk. And you just need to start doing things. Just do it. Just speak about it. Just place some, I don't know, some information somewhere, wherever you can, at work or anywhere else. This is it. You do simple things. But actually, these simple actions will give good and uh, really nice uh, seeds and harvest. And this is the beginning of the creative society. Dear friends, such positive news inspires and gives strength. Let's act together and carefully create our present time. 
Thank you for always being with us. We invite you to watch the next broadcast on Sunday, August 30. See you soon. If you sit and do nothing, it will remain fiction. But I heard every day in my time that it is impossible, it is fantastic, but I still did it every day. So I recommend it to you as well, my friends. For fiction to become a reality, you only have to work to make fiction a reality in your life. And then what is impossible becomes possible for all of us.